Oh, yay, good. <laughs> Good, good, good. Thank you. Computer, you were scared. Yeah, when the internet goes down, boy, it's... You never know how much... Oof. And it's like a, <laughs> it's a network issue, too, so, like, yeah. the computers, they're talking, but they're not talking like they supposed to talk, and then you get, yeah, it's like, you have to try to figure out ways to go around this and that, like, I we'll work around, like, yeah. <laughs> like, all right, if I can get it on my phone, and but I also know, like, he has... Some of these are, are as I said, he has them like to keep people from, you know, just putting any and everything on there. Oh yeah. Like, he has them set to where, you know, like you can't just stick a, a oh a USB in the front of you. Oh yeah. That's off. probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Not not, not, <laughs> not mad at like I'm not mad at that by any means. Oh yeah. Okay, so this makes me think about like how much we uh, we use the internet on a daily basis yeah, so much man. that we if, if it goes down like if it goes down for the whole state or the country or the world like people will lose their mind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you remember? What um, am I supposed to do without have, uh, Facebook? <laughs> a couple of months ago, when the um, the cell phone stopped working, mm, yeah, like, yeah, a few hours that That's morning. That's right. Yeah, people were going. It was news. It was like, oh, I can't get on it. Post my text. Oh my god. god. <laughs> Crazy, but yeah, yeah, we uh, we a little, de little bit dependent on yeah, that stuff. We needed to live. That's the, it's the, the lifestyle, man. Like, oh, yeah, nothing works. It's like interwoven with our day to day stuff now. Yeah, it's hard to do, hard yeah. to do without it. We're going on right at the wild one, about two and a half minutes. Yeah, that's this one. I see. I recognize Julie Roll. I don't know Jesse Murphy. Yeah, she's a, she's like she's a country artist. Oh, okay. Yeah, but she's kind of, she normally sings, sings, but like she's kind of rapping on this one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's got like the auto tune stuff going on. Yeah, she actually, I was like, every time I hear that, was like. Some rap type vibes going on. Bars. This is, uh, <laughs> the song actually came on a few minutes ago. Uh, XG is a K pop group. Oh, yeah. But that, I don't know it's them, and there's another one, um, Black Pink is their name. And Black they're girls, Pink. all girls. Oh, uh, it's all girls. But they, uh, the one girl, I think her name's Lisa, which I'm pretty sure she's probably not what her mama named her, but, uh, <laughs> she, um, she raps, and that girl from XG raps, and I'm not gonna lie. Bars, yeah, bars. Bars. That's what's bars. Like, That's like, I'm sitting there listening to like. You never know. Oh, wait a minute. But I, I think that's like it, hip hop in itself because the popularity is spiked again, especially with the youth. Oh yeah. Um, you have sure. different, um, different groups, different, you know, people that would rap that's not normally you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah. Like, yeah there's a lot so, of crossover. Yeah, it's funny because like, I remember like not too long ago it was rock and roll music that was splitting up into all these little sub genres and sub sub genres and now it's like that with hip hop like you got yeah, so you many got so many flavors different. and like mm -hmm. slight variations and mixing right. genres here and there. Right, and I, I ain't gonna lie, I'm here for it. It's, oh, it's yeah. starting to remind me of like like the eighties and the early nineties. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For sure. But it's just like oh. Everybody's kind of making their own stuff, and it's just, yeah. you know, some of it's similar, but... A little experimental. It's just, yeah, it's good. For sure. Right, let's do it. Jesse Merv, Jelly Roll, Wild Ones, it is about us hit music. Channel Hot 1027, good morning to you. In the building with me, my guy, Culture. How are we doing today, bro? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty hey, good. Good man. to see you, man. Yes, I am glad you're in here, bro, for real. Uh, listen, you got a new one coming out. We're going to talk about that. But, uh, man, so, wait, wait, first off, the name of this song is Forever, right? Uh, like That Forever. Like That Forever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm sorry, the first like, two like this forever. Like this, like this forever. I'm thinking this about that in okay. a future Metro movie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I mean, I know it's it's, it's kind of 
the 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 fire on it's kind of going down, but you know, oh, it's still it, 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 it's it's uh, the beef itself. <laughs> now, 2024 started off with a bunch of beef. There was, you know, you remember the the the, the Cat Williams thing. He and started then, it all. Yeah, off. <laughs> like everybody was like, you know what? I got something to say well, too. He's got a point. <laughs> but I will tell you now, the the Kendrick Drake beef. It was, I think Drake didn't realize, or maybe just didn't care that. Kendrick is a lyricist. lyricist yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. he, he's a lyricist. Like, and that's not like us. Yeah, you're not going up yeah. against a pop star. You're yeah, I mean, Drake. A, yeah. A, a, a right, back, a right. backpack rapper. Yeah, you know? like, <laughs> and here's the, the thing to that, too, man. It, it really don't matter for Drake, though. Yeah. Like, he really, he lost that battle so badly. It was a beatdown. It was 100%. a... It was a slap in the face and a whole bunch of other stuff. I mean, <laughs> it was late in the fourth quarter and he was down by like 30 points and then Kendrick performed Not Like Us Live and you watch thousands of people pop, 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 pop. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, like wow. Five times back Eight to back. Yeah. <laughs> like the whole crowd singing along right. to it. Right. Like, that, that, was, that was it there. They called the game at that point. But oh, yeah. Drake is not going to lose any fans. No, probably not. Yeah, he's not. I mean, probably because not. his his core base might not really know who Kendrick is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, why is he why is he messing with Drake? Drake has done that to me. Right. You know, whatever. Like, just just you know, thing lane, bro. Make the happy stuff. Make the stuff for the ladies and do something. I would tell you a beef though, that was very it it, it was very quick. Um, I mean, technically they're still beefing, but it it, it didn't really come out until it was just. A couple of tracks, really, like maybe three and one, that um, people it, it kind of went on the radar for a minute, and it was fantastic. Are you talking about Quavo? Quavo and Chris, and Brown? Chris Brown. Bro, I did not know Chris Brown could rap like that. You know, he is that a musician, he is an artist, and the crazy part about it was the way he ended that when he said, You got bodied yeah. by singing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, come yeah. on, man. <laughs> Like, come on, like, you know what, though? Well, this ain't even my lane, and I still bodied you. <laughs> right, for real, like... Which, I mean, yeah. that's impressive, you know? Yeah, I mean, he I mean, he came out, and it was straight, like... <laughs> the one thing I liked about uh, Chris Brown's diss track uh, with Quavo, it was... There was no chorus. Yeah, it, it was, was just, just straight bars. bars. Like, you could tell, like, he probably had put something in the air, went to the <laughs> studio, and was like, I'm still mad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's do it. it didn't cool off yeah, at all. Yeah, it was like, I'm still up here in that whole thing. Because, I mean, he said, when he said the line about... Um, about takeoff? The takeoff, yeah, it was Man. like, ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. I'm not going to lie. I felt like he took it a little far with that. That That's, was, that was like, when I first heard level. that, I was like, God, dog, Chris, hold up, man. Time out. Sure, like, hey, I know, for real, chill, you gonna man. The, you going to bring the dead homie into it? Come on, man. No, but here's Jeez. the other part about it that's even worse for Quavo with that. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that <laughs> nobody else was like, Chris Brown, that's wrong. It was kind of like. Right. They were just like, oh. oh, oh. I mean, he's right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Which, I mean, let's face it, he was. Yeah, I mean, he's not wrong. Wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let's get into your song, man. First off, let us know, uh, like this forever, what is this song talking about? So this song is, um, this is basically a song about when you, uh, when you kind of get tired of being stuck in the same rut, and you mm -hmm. just, you just kind of looking at the situation and say, man, am I, can I really, is this maintainable forever? Do I want to do this forever? Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what, what it's talking about. I like it. All right, man. Let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to it right now, man. Culture. Like this forever, about us is hit music channel. We are all 1027. Let's check it out. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yeah, a lot of people, you're right, a lot of people slept on that yeah. Quavo, Chris Brown thing, but Bro, man, that was, it was one of those. Wild. <laughs> it, it was when I, I had to look up what they were even beefing about, like what, right. what was going on, and it had something to do with Karuchi and. I think Quavo oh, is that her. Yeah, like <laughs> after the fact or whatever. And I don't know what happened after that that caused him to be like, rrr, rrr, rrr. but yeah, yeah. it was just like, oh, well, first of all, <laughs> Quavo had to understand that Chris Brown is Chris Brown. Right. This man has a body yeah. of work that's a decade plus old. Yeah. Like, sure. he's, he's good. And his fans are diehard. Oh, yeah. He 
beat up Rihanna and then lose fans. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's true. So, like, I mean, he technically didn't lose Rihanna as a fan, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. she was later like, yeah, yeah, we still cool. They even did a song afterwards at one point. Oh, did that? I didn't yeah. know about that. So it's like, yeah, you know, like, what I'm like, you really, that tells you that that man is resilient. Yeah. Right? For as sure. far as his fan base, so you're not gonna, and plus you don't have as big of a fan base. Your biggest thing was the fact that you were part of the Migos. Yeah. Like, and then that, when they broke up, you know, it was like, okay, you really ain't had nothing out since then. And like, you yeah. can rap, but you were clearly not the strongest one in Migos. Like, yeah. yeah. And I hated to hear that because that was such a savage bar, but he's, he's not wrong. Yeah, and he's that's, not wrong. that's how you knew you were wrong. Nobody, yeah. nobody was like, Chris Brown, that's too much. Right. It was like, oh, Chris Brown, wow. Now Kanye, when he, when he dissed Drake and he said, I can't even think of a Drake line, I'm like, come on, bro. You know that's not true, yeah, man. You're trying, Kanye. 100% false. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> Yo, that's it, man. I like this very our culture. Hey, listen, if you like that, right, and you were thinking, hey, I want that in my life, tell them how they can get a hold of your music, bro. It's going to be available on all streaming platforms this Friday, the 12th. Hey. So, same day that uh, that old Slim Shady's dropping his album. Yeah. So, if you're listening to that, when you're done, just hop over to Culture's page and give it a yeah. listen. Check it out. Are you uh, you on Spotify and everything? Oh, yeah. We're on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Amazon Music, anywhere you can listen to it. I'm there. There you go. Anywhere you can listen to it. I will say this, and, and, and Spotify did not pay me to say this. Okay. <laughs> But in fact, I they don't pay anyone almost at all these days. days. I was about to say, <laughs> even the artist Taylor Swift made twelve dollars. <laughs> <laughs> no, real talk though. Uh, I had Spotify. Uh, I had been paying for Spotify for years. Like, oh, yeah. Literally, well, like probably about a year and a half, something like that. I got it because a DJ and a client had sent their playlist on Spotify, so I thought it was easier just to, you know, I got like a trial thing. Yeah, Never yeah. turned it off because the $10 was hitting with, you know, uh, right next to a payday, so you, you just don't oh, see you ain't it. even going to notice it. So it wasn't until like January of this year um, <laughs> that I was like, you know what, I have this thing, let me check it out me and either. see what's going on, and I started playing with it and using it. Now it's like the greatest thing. It's pretty addictive. It's, it's it great. really is. It's, <laughs> it's a good way to like explore some new music, man. Oh, and, yeah. You know. So anyway, y'all check out Culture, man. Go to Real Big. I like that song. We're going to take the break. Coming up for you, we're going to give you a chance to win tickets to Wild Adventures. Name that throwback. We'll see if you can do it. It's all 1027. Good morning to you. Do you guys still do the, uh, the five at five, uh, the fire drill this oh, is, yeah, yeah. Like, five, five, I'm remembering five, this from when I was like 18, and I'm in my 30s now, so I don't know if y'all... Yeah, we don't do that anymore. It's now the top four at four. Oh, okay. So people still like call in and request stuff, though? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, we, um, well, we use a combination of that and what you can do, which it kind of runs itself, really, but mm -hmm. uh, what you can do on the app, you can actually post oh, okay. stuff on the app, so... I kind of oh. look at that to see, you know, what was the most popular songs during that day. And sometimes... Oh, the Hot 1027 app? Mm-hmm. I'm on yeah, that download. Yeah. I haven't... Yeah, I man. Forget, I forget y'all have an app. Yeah, that app is actually... Uh, one thing about our apps, and uh, I know this is like a, one of those radio talking points, but <laughs> it is true. Our apps are actually pretty cool. I ain't even gonna lie. You yeah. can use them as an alarm. Um, you can... Mm -hmm. We have uh, podcasts on them now. Oh, okay. Um, you can hit the thumbs up you can even request through the app and oh, when you request through the app it sends me an email going hey can you play it's like a, and a lot of times people use it for like if they want to hear a certain artists that might not be charting mm -hmm. uh, something like that they'll be like hey this is a cool song can y'all play this you know what I'm saying yeah yeah and you know we hit them up sometimes I, you know, I, I, I always listen first oh yeah now, for it's sure. just 95 percent of it is like there's this one dude that he literally said the song was he was like it was he, he's out of California and it's like it was supposed to be like a like a pop 
rock kind of fusion. That's a cool mm-hmm. case. Okay. Sounds like it might be right down our alley. Yeah, yeah. And it just turns out this guy was like 55, and it really sounded like he had one of those, you know, those Casio keyboards that's sort of a keyboard, but yeah. not really. It's just got some, it's like he made the beat on that. Oh, for like a, like a MIDI controller. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, okay. I'm like, it was like, okay, well. No, no. So it sounds like you not produced like a mini controller, like a like a toy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> something you would buy for a child, like it, it, the so keys are the same, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's got the pre-programmed <laughs> production one hundred and one. <laughs> like, it was just it was sad. It was it was funny, and then I played it as a joke, and I felt bad. Oh. So. <laughs> anyway, I mean, I played it. You actually played it. It was like, oh, it was terrible. <laughs> but, uh, I did have this uh, this girl group called Karma Karma or something. Huh. Um, they were actually really good. Was it like a local thing or just they were? Um, this was uh, yeah, they were somewhere. I think they were out of like Tampa, maybe. Oh, okay. No, Tennessee. They was out of Tennessee. Tennessee. Um, they're cool now, and they labeled theirs. They was like, this is a. Uh, I did an interview with them. They um mm-hmm. they, they said that it was like a pop rock kind of R&B fusion thing that they kind of do a lot and they really do they okay. reminded me not sound wise but just setup wise yeah. it reminded me of um, Lincoln Park how you really? really had the guy that, oh, um, like all singing the, and then you had the rapping and the, you had the screamio and then you had the, the you know what I'm saying the like, yeah, and so it was like that they had the one girl that raps the one girl that sings really good oh. and the other girl She's she's more like a like like the hype person like she she oh, okay. rap she sing or whatever like the flavor flavor yeah flavor. exactly <laughs> like, I was like oh snap and they young too that's crazy but like oh yeah I saw that's um, wild. they submitted the song I saw them, and then um, I actually didn't request the interview from them I um, mm-hmm. worked with uh, Moses Media okay um, one of their reps she hit me up and I I don't mind like I told her, I said I, I'd like to put artists on like I think given this format. It's kind of a refresher to hear a song that's not, you know, oh, yeah, I know the song. Oh, yeah. And so it's like, oh, and somebody that's like, oh, this is cool. I can go look up and, you know, they're not huge. With, like, I mean, you yeah. can tweet at Drake all you want to. You <laughs> your response. Like, but these yeah, people, true. you know what I'm saying? They'll probably answer you back. Yeah, they, they, they probably hit you up and, you know, do stuff with you. And <laughs> they, she hit me up and said, interview. And I was like, okay. And I interviewed him. And that's when I got the information. She sent me like, that bio. And I was like, oh, they submitted that song. I played that song. And um, I put it in rotation because I do that. Like, you know, like with, with dress stuff, I, I put it in rotation because I have a, a flavor cut. Oh, yeah. Know, where it's just designed, it's designed to uh, just be a break. You know, yeah. here's something that probably going to take a year. Plus, if it sounds <laughs> good, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff, like nowadays, man, like if you look, because I. I was explaining this to Jay. Is we still use the airplay charts, which I think is worthy mm-hmm. of it. But the airplay charts are done by reporting stations. You're basically playing what other stations are playing. That's you know true, and, like, and that's based on what they request are and they report yeah. whatever. So you can get a a, a feel, and I kind of use a combination of that and the actual um, Billboard charts. Because uh, oh, okay. Billboard still, you yeah. know, people just vote. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like that. Yeah. But the other <laughs> thing I use is I look on like Spotify, YouTube. You go on YouTube and you see a song that ain't on nobody's chart, mm-hmm. but it's got like true. 30 million views and it's been out for like six months. Like, that's a hit. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Speaking but that's on YouTube, uh, I don't know if you saw it, <clears throat> but we were talking about. People whose fan base doesn't drop off when some. Right. I don't know if you saw it, but the baby did a freestyle over the like that beat. Mm-hmm. Man was I never seen him rap like that. Like he was rapping like the rent was due. Like Listen, he killed it. <laughs> the baby, I said this about I was on um, 107 on the beat talking with Tremaine, and I said that about the baby. The baby is. Like, to me, when you listen to his earlier stuff, mm. you're like, yeah, and then when he started to get popular, he got lazy. But it doesn't really, because <laughs> it doesn't take yeah. much to, to get a hit. You got a beat right. and a hook with a couple of lines in there that the, the kids will jump on. Right. You straight, like, you good. But, like, I remember hearing him when he did, um, when he did a verse on uh, Dua Lipa's Levitating. 
Oh yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it was just like that's <laughs> old baby right there. Yeah. Like the baby's acting talented. He's he's right, really he, good. He, like, he can rap. Yeah, he really can rap, and it's like you can tell. When he tries, yeah. when he's just like, okay, I need a chick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me, oh, yeah. let me put something down real fast. Same thing with uh, Lil Baby. Lil yeah. Baby's like that, too. Where it's like, like, okay. It seemed like he kind of fell off a little bit here recently. Yeah. I'm kind of, he's just acting kind of concerned. But I also think a lot of times with these artists like that, I think they get to a place where like because just imagine like you where they're hungry. comfortable yeah you know what I'm saying you, like, hungry, right, I'm coast. you know what your power bill was you know what I'm yeah. saying and now you made it it's like right do I really need it yeah, once you know? made it right. it's I like know. well I ain't gotta try gotta every try. minute of every right. day exactly. like I was, so I might yeah. wait a while which it depends like nowadays man like you you kind of either you can do if you get established you can you could do, you know, where you can wait a few years in between albums and stuff like that. If oh, yeah. you got bangers, it's going to last a year. It's kind of like what yeah. Kendrick does. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, oh, he don't drop very often. Well, he's yeah. perfecting exactly. that I stuff. was about to say. He's crafting it. That's why when he does drop, he's almost guaranteed to be a hit. Or at least right. you're going to like it. <laughs> like, one of those, are like, if you put an album out, you're going <clears> to <throat> want to listen to the album, not, you know. Oh, yeah. Not but just it, the one track. Yeah, yeah. not just the, you know, the, this is what I heard on the radio and I like that and that's it. I gotta say, this whole thing has got me real excited for Kendrick's next album because I'm like... Yeah. I mean, I like Mr. Morale, but based on what he's been doing recently, I'm just like, what's yeah, he gonna yeah, do on this next album? On this next one. <laughs> Let's see what you cooked up, man. Listen, that guy, I have always, I like lyricists, man. I, I, oh, that's, yeah. That's just, to me, when you... Uh, when you can rap rap, that makes that real easy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, really easy. Like, he's like, okay. Um, okay. So you just, oh, never mind. 